everyone, and uh, thank you for the section organizers for the opportunity to present uh, some results on studies of employment specific relief for paintings in Kapov Cave. Um, we are moving from the Far East uh, to the Southern Urals Mountain. Uh, it's there. And uh, at the Republic of Bashkatastan, uh, there was placed a Kapova cave. Uh, it's uh, the cave with the um, upper paralytic uh, cave art. Uh, it's a single uh, example of uh, cave art, uh, in, uh, paralytic cave art in uh, Russia. And uh, uh, the cave uh, is located uh, at the river bank of uh, Belia River, and it's a really huge caustic cave. Uh, is more than three kilometers uh, length. Um, this is the area, uh, and the cave go in that direction. Um, two panoramas uh, outside and uh, inside cave. Uh, next to the entrance. <coughs> is a lake uh, which is the output of uh, underground river and the river is uh, originates uh, on the top of the rock massif uh, and then uh, leads into the underground cavities and uh, that forms one of the floors uh, of the cave um, it's another view uh, of the entrance and lake is there and uh, it's a figure of a man uh, for the scale. Uh, there are a lot of uh, tourists in the cave in summertime, uh, but uh, they can visit just two chambers uh, near the entrance. Uh, it's the chambers without paleolithic uh, cave art. And um, they can see just uh, some copies, uh, uh, actually very bad copies. Uh, and uh, the passage uh, between public to, uh, touristic chambers uh, and the first chamber with the, the real uh, art uh, is closed by the steel lattice. Um, in each chamber uh, we can see the four primary colors. Uh, the light brown, uh, it's a color uh, of the walls. Uh, black, uh, it's a suit uh, from the torches uh, and fair camps and white is a layer uh, of uh, calcite deposits and of course uh, the red uh, is the color of um, paintings and the paintings is here uh, the next chamber uh, calls the chamber of science uh, because almost all uh, paintings here uh, are signs or unidentified uh, motifs um, and uh, the last chamber uh, at the first floor of the cave uh, is chamber of cows. Uh, it's a very huge hall uh, with uh, the complex relief uh, of the floor. It forms uh, due to the uh, collapse uh, of the part of the ceiling. Um, on the second floor uh, there is only one uh, uh, chamber with paintings, uh, but the long corridor uh, leading to it. And uh, there are two main uh, large panels in the chamber, uh, on the west and east wall. Uh, on the west wall uh, we can see the three mammoths and uh, a bison. Uh, and, uh, and at the east uh, wall there are a lot of animals, uh, typical for uh, upper paleolithic uh, period. Uh, five mammoths, two horses, uh, two woolly arenas and uh, the one trapezium-like uh, signs. Sign. And the state of preservation of uh, the paintings at this panel is uh, very good because uh, uh, the wall is dry uh, almost all the season. Uh, but uh, after the discovery of the Paleolithic uh, paintings in Kapova Cave in uh, 1959, uh, walls uh, were covered by modern graffiti. And uh, during the works of expedition uh, led by uh, Otto Bader in uh, 1960 till 1978, uh, the graffiti was clean. Uh, in, the documental, uh, in the documental film uh, about the, the works of uh, that expedition, uh, we can see uh, some elements uh, of uh, the restorer's technique. Uh, 
Um, for example, for cleaning, they used just cotton swabs, uh, soft brushes, and uh, water. Uh, but at the first floor, uh, the Chamber of Chaos, uh, the situation was uh, completely different. Uh, specific microclimatic condition uh, caused the formation of a very thick uh, layer of uh, calcite uh, over the painting uh, during the Pleistocene period. Uh, this crust uh, are made uh, by columnar uh, calcite and uh, also to protect uh, the paintings uh, from the water. And uh, in some uh, places of uh, the panel, uh, the th uh, thickness of uh, the layer of calcite uh, was uh, uh, up to 10 centimeters. And significant changes uh, in the cave uh, microclimatic conditions uh, in our time uh, is caused uh, of uh, dynamic changes related to contemporary uh, process of uh, mineral for mineral formation um, over the painting. And uh, uh, unlike the uh, translucent uh, calcite that uh, need uh, more time to formation and uh, it for formed in a very um, stable uh, condition, uh, the new crystals uh, are very small uh, and uh, have a it's grown in uh, different directions, uh, and so uh, the layer uh, is uh, opaque, and uh, this layer is covered uh, some paintings. Um, when uh, I use uh, uh, RTI for uh, documenting this um, panel, uh, I found uh, some stages of uh, works. Uh, with uh, this uh, panel by consortium. Um, first, uh, several consorts um, were documented. Uh, for example, the first consort is the second. Um, we know that um, for removing a uh, very thick uh, layer, uh, they use uh, coarse instruments and uh, then they use um, uh, more precise uh, tools for uh, uncovering uh, this uh, panel. And uh, after the um, archival uh, research, uh, we found some uh, pictures uh, of uh, the restorers uh, with chisels, and they use, they use chisels for uh, removing uh, the main uh, layer of calcite and um, after uh, I um, uh, watched the film uh, again, uh, I found uh, some uh, pictures uh, that demonstrated uh, how uh, the restorers uh, works uh, at uh, the precise uh, level. Yes, they use uh, different uh, types of uh, scalpels, and uh, at the RTI uh, images uh, we can uh, trace. Uh, some uh, marks of uh, chisel uh, and uh, then uh, very precise uh, marks of um, uh, scalpels. Uh, thus, uh, the results of uh, digital imaging uh, were confirmed uh, in the archival uh, materials. Uh, but uh, the question is uh, why uh, this surface chosen for the painting? And uh, one of the side the results of, uh, of the, the works on uh, uranium terrarium uh, dating, uh, launched by the international team uh, leaded by uh, Yuri Dublansky uh, some years ago, uh, was to establish that the paintings uh, were making on the layer of translucent calcite uh, as the one uh, that covered them. Uh, the layer of the painting and uh, the structure of the calcite uh, under the painting and over the painting is the same. Um, this means uh, that the color of the surface was, uh, looks completely different uh, from uh, the gray wall um, outside uh, this panel. 
uh, in Kapava Cave, uh, the host rock uh, is calcite, but with significant uh, quantity of uh, silicon, uh, which makes it darker uh, than the pure calcite. So any calcite uh, deposits uh, looks like uh, the white spots uh, on the dark walls. And also, uh, this is uh, the one of the few uh, really flat surface in the cave. Uh, I want to show you uh, the 3D model um, of this panel, and uh, you can see uh, that the surface uh, is uh, completely flat. Oh, sorry. Uh, thus, um, we approach the second effective method, is uh, photogrammetry, that was uh, the simplest uh, and the most accessible uh, method of uh, 3D documentation. And uh, the purchase of very fast computer uh, to our prior uh, art uh, uh, center uh, allowed us uh, this year uh, to carry out the very high detailed uh, documentation, not only uh, the individual uh, painting, but uh, the large pa panels uh, itself, and then we can enlarge, enlarge and enlarge the image, uh, which allows us to receive uh, a more detailed picture uh, on the screen than uh, when, we re when we're viewing the painting uh, on site. Uh, a few slides earlier, uh, I showed the panel with the horses. Uh, in the Chamber of Chaos, uh, there is another surface uh, which is entirely uh, filled with paintings. This is a place uh, uh, of a convergence of two uh, huge stone blocks um, which formed a kind of a crack. Uh, on the screen, uh, you see several uh, fragments of the ceiling of this crack. Uh, all these surfaces are flat, uh, therefore convenient for painting. And uh, also on them, uh, there are numerous layers uh, of calcite deposits uh, that uh, locally change the color of the surface. Uh, a detailed documentation using the multispectral imaging, uh, one of the trapezium like signs, uh, shows that the lines uh, are drawn uh, of the calcite deposits. Uh, unfortunately, uh, this layer is unstable and prone to peeling, uh, which probably caused a lot of uh, a loss of part of the painting. Uh, another example of the use of, uh, of calcite deposit: uh, the crack is th the crack yeah. there, and um, the presence uh, of the flat surface uh, is not enough to select a location for painting. Uh, this wall uh, near the crack uh, very narrow and flat. But uh, on the entire wall, uh, there is only one painting uh, that was made uh, on the cal calcite deposit. Uh, just like uh, any artist uh, of all period uh, prepared surface for painting, in many cases, uh, ancient artists uh, in Kapava Cave preferred to use the surface primed uh, in natural way. Um, it's uh, the example uh, of the using. Uh, uh, the surface of that uh, naturally colored in, uh, in yellow, and uh, of course uh, it's uh, completely flat. Uh, on the top floor, uh, in the chamber of drawings, uh, on the eastern wall, we can find uh, uh, the same principle of choosing the surface for painting. Um, I use a digital surface model uh, for the visual for visualize that, and uh, we see that uh, the, uh, the bound model here and here, uh, they uh, placed on the available space, uh, because this is a crack and uh, this um, uh, uh, some of the relief feature, and uh, this composition uh, is perfectly fit uh, to um, the flat uh, surface. <coughs> and by using the combination of uh, texture and digital surface model, uh, we can uh, visualize uh, how to, uh, how the uh, painter uh, fit in the uh, image uh, to the uh, relief. 
On the opposite wall, uh, the relief is completely different. Uh, we see uh, a lot of uh, notches uh, of different sizes and such structures are formed under the pressure of water flows, which formed uh, the upper flow of the cave. And uh, you see how uh, the uh, painters uh, use these uh, uh, features of uh, relief. Uh, it's an example uh, of um, deliberately uh, prepared surface uh, by using uh, the uh, RTI um, we see uh, that uh, surface uh, on the right of the panel uh, is uh, very flat and uh, we see some uh, uh, marks uh, that uh, on the instruments and uh, at the end um, uh, I will show you uh, the last uh, uh, example and it's another case uh, you know that uh, when we see uh, the red area it's not always a painting uh, at the first examination of this uh, fragment of the wall uh, at the dome chamber uh, it was suggested that saturated uh, red area is a trace of, of a painting uh, this one um, it's uh, situated at uh, the medium high uh, uh, the flat surface uh, uh, the, the surface is flat and uh, it's covered uh, with layer of calcite deposits so uh, all previously uh, discussed features uh, are complied uh, it must be painting uh, and previous researchers consider exactly the same and uh, then uh, I use uh, the distrage uh, for examining this area and uh, I found uh, some uh, lines uh, left uh, to the red area and uh, then uh, we took uh, two samples for uh, analyze uh, two uh, completely different uh, areas and uh, we found that uh, uh, the sample from uh, these lines uh, it uh, contains uh, a very coarse uh, hematite uh, uh, particles and you see the distribution of uh, iron um, in this and uh, this morphology uh, of crystals um, uh, made uh, this uh, violet uh, shade and <coughs> but uh, the samples from uh, this red R area um, without uh, any preparation and uh, after the, uh, we prepared the, the cross section uh, we didn't find uh, any traces of paint yeah if it was paint uh, uh, at the surface um, we should see uh, the high iron contain, uh, contained but uh, the iron distribution is um, uh, very uniform and uh, I hope that uh, this uh, vibrant uh, red color uh, uh, is due to uh, the distribution of uh, nanoparticles uh, of uh, uh, hematite uh, inside the calcite structure. Um, actually, uh, I'm finished with this <laughs> another example <laughs> <laughs> of the paintings uh, in Cup of a Cave and some. Uh, traces of pigment, uh, it's not figurative. That's all. <laughs> Thank you.